In this video we're going to talk about angles and how they relate to degrees, minutes and seconds. Now angles relate very closely to time. For example, let's take 13 and a half hours. 13 and a half hours is the equivalent of saying 13 hours and 30 minutes. And when we talk about this in degrees, you might say 13.5 degrees or 13 and a half degrees is 13 degrees 30 minutes as well in fact the notation is a little different they use the degree symbol but for minutes they use like a little apostrophe to say minutes there's even other ones other angles you can talk about such as 13.75 degrees now 0.75 represents three quarters so this would be 13 degrees 45 minutes since 45 minutes is three quarters of a degree what about when we get more complicated angles such as 38.675 degrees this becomes really difficult to work out in our head this is where we need to use our calculator so up here I've got a sharp calculator and we're going to write 38 Point six seven five, and then equals and it's going to remain as a decimal and we want to convert it to degrees minutes and seconds using the degrees minutes seconds button which on this calculator just says DMS and the way this one works is we go second function DMS and it will give you your solution now you'll notice it doesn't just have degrees and minutes it also has the, the number 30 at the end with a double apostrophe. Now this represents seconds. So I'm going to write this down. The calculator will disappear once I click on the PowerPoint. So 38 degrees, 40 minutes, and 30 seconds. Now you noticed on the calculator we just used, it did this using a DMS button. Different calculators have different buttons, and I just want to mention that sometimes your calculator has a degree symbol with the three apostrophes after it so these are usually the two buttons that you see when you're converting between degrees minutes and seconds and decimals now to finish off the video um, on degrees minutes and seconds I want to show you how to go in reverse so we'll bring up the calculator again and we'll clear it and this time we're going to write 38 degrees using the DMS button 40 minutes and 30 seconds so we've written it in degrees minutes and seconds then I'm going to press equals and I believe if I go second function DMS it will give us the solution we want remembering that different calculators have different ways of converting between decimals and degrees minutes and seconds and that concludes our video on degrees, minutes and seconds.